Hello again, welcome back. This is an old classic that if I have had, it's many years since I've had it. It's Ruvenbroi. Apparently that's how you see it. It's not Lohenbrot. It's Ruvenbroi. I stand corrected. And it's Ruvenbroi original. It's a Hellas style lager from Bavaria and it's 5.2% ABV and it's a 33 mil, 33 centilitre, 330 mil bottle. Uh, bum, 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 bum. It's all in German, all in German. But this has been made since I think it was 1383 or something it's like it's ancient you know uh, so it's just a hellish style lager let's crack it on see what it's like the Leuven Broy Lion on the crown let's see what it's like pale gold yes Crystal clear on the poor. That was a, a knob head poor in the verse. And not hard enough poor, I don't think. Let's have a wee look at the colour, eh? Yeah, that is crystal clear, that. It's uh, fast rising bubbles from, I think that might be a nucleated glass, I'm not sure. So it's a pale straw colour, straw, light golden. Let's have a wee swirl. That'll put a head in it and release aromas, which is the whole point of the exercise. Yeah, let's put a mousse like finger of white foam. Yeah, maltiness. There's something else there. It's not just malt. Like a... Is that a citrus? No. I don't know. Anyway, cheers my dears. Yeah. It's nice and crisp that refreshing malty the bready malt it's actually almost almost toffee like but not quite doesn't quite reach that it's, it's very nice it's like uh, let's have a wee breakdown on the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com and we'll do the light test first, just to give you an idea of what it's like. So, yeah, that's probably a three straw, pale straw, something like that. Uh, it's a lovely colour. And the... We'll say a three for that. The clarity is brilliantly clear. Once you get rid of that condensation... Yeah, it's brilliantly clear. The colour of foam head retention is fairly poor. The foam texture is thin. There's that lacing on the surface. The visual carbonation is now medium. Yeah, it's not going mental. Yeah, so the alcohol aroma is not detectable. The hops. I don't think I'm, I'm picking up anything there. The malt is bready, maybe maybe slightly just toasty. Uh, esters, I wonder if it's like a bit apple-y out there. Yeah, it might be a bit apple going on there. The flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, not detectable, hops, none that I can detect 
hot bitterness restrained, the malt flavour gets bready, the malt sweetness Well, there's a slight sweetness there, but I'm going to say low. Palate, as soon as you say low, the body is quite drying. You do want to go back in. Palate carbonation is low to medium. As it develops, the malt it becomes more malty. It's a really pleasant drink. Uh, the palate, the length finish is medium. Uh, Bars of drinkability, desirable, style appropriate. Let's have a wee look on Untapped to see what it says. So it's Leuvenbroi, original. And the, the, it's the, the big macro brewery, the Spaten Franciscaner Leuvenbroi Group. It's a Hellas style lager, 5.2% ABV, IBU 19. Yes, very mild bitterness. Friends check ins one and they've given it 3.5. Everyone else is 80,000 check ins, an average of 3.15. That's quite low. Uh, brewed since 1383, Leuvenbroi is still produced in Munich and is brewed according to the German Reinheitsgebot, the purity law. My apologies for my, the accent. That dates back to 1516. It's a refreshing yet characteristic beer, slightly dry, spicy, maybe that's what it is, with a trace of malt and delicately bitter. I thought it was a spiciness I'm getting. I can't tell what it is though. The descriptors are light, clean, smooth, sweet, malty. Yeah, I'll go along with that. So, I mean, 3.15, that's disgraceful, that's low. I mean, it is a, just a, it's, a, it's nothing special lager, you know, it's like a, a standard, but it's really well done. So, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Because as bog standard laggers go, this is one of the better ones. It's it's really well made, it's really well done. It's not my go to style of drink. I mean, uh, but I would recommend it, I would drink it again. So it's definite thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Very nice.